off today. I'm Crystal Paco at the bar, and I have a very, very special guest with me. If he looks familiar, he's the man <laughs> behind Pika's Cafe and Kitchen Lingo, where I just dined in recently, and it was amazing from start to finish. And what's even cooler is that they tell you what cocktails pair with what foods, and that's actually <laughs> what we're going to do today. And I hear I'm going to work for my meal today. <laughs> Well, you were a guest last night, but today I guess we're putting you to work. So, Crystal, uh, it's your training day. <laughs> You're gonna go ahead and grab that shaker right there in the front. All right, and first we're, and you can go ahead and set it right here, separate them. And then we're gonna put our ingredients. Our main ingredient is uh, tequila. Of course. Of course, right, because it's not a margarita without, without tequila. tequila. And we're just gonna do an ounce and a half of tequila, which is nice and clean. And then we're gonna Put a little bit of simple syrup, just about a half ounce. Right, and just throw that in the shaker. And the last ingredient is gonna be fresh lemon juice. And we're just gonna put one full ounce of that right into the shaker. Now go ahead and put a scoop of ice into your shaker. All right, and then we're gonna just top it off. Go ahead and put that down. We're just gonna make sure that this is nice and set. And I'll pick it up and <laughs> Everyone has their signature shake. And <laughs> this is like our workout. <laughs> this is this little, So you want to put it up a little bit and just make sure you get it real good? All right, perfect. <laughs> so we're going to serve this in a Collins glass. And all the way to the top? All the way to the top. Yep, that's just right. Then we're going to take our strainer. Right, and we're just going to pour this, strain it right over ice. All right, and then... I just, what I like to do is just take our lime wheel, just put it right over the salt, and just put it right in the drink like that. So we're gonna pair the uh, margarita with the sashimi, uh, Chef Lingo's uh, hamachi sashimi. You can go ahead and give this a try and I'll explain some of that. You have to tell me twice to eat, <laughs> eat the food on set. So the hamachi sashimi is prepared with a yuzu kushu vinaigrette, some fried leeks, and uh, nori oil, and enoki mushrooms. Okay, so again, we started with the light and now we're gonna head a little bit darker. And today we're gonna do one of our uh, super classic drinks, um, very old school, it's called the Manhattan. So we're gonna start off here with um, the Bullet Rye Whiskey and we're gonna put it here in our mixer. So starting off with two ounces of Bullet Rye. And this is sweet vermouth and you're gonna do three quarter ounce of that. The last ingredient, is Angostura bitters, and we're just gonna do, actually just two dashes okay. of that should be fine. After that, we're just gonna add some ice. So take your stir, and we're just gonna stir it about 12 times. And then we're just gonna strain it right into here. Little coupe glass. And today we're pairing it with Chef Lingo's Crispy Octopus. And I'm so excited because I saw this on the menu last night <laughs> and I didn't get to order it. And last but not least, Lenny, what are we having? All right, so now we're gonna go all the way to the end uh, with the darkest uh, liquor that we have today and that's the Bullet Bourbon. Go ahead and put a half ounce of simple syrup. Go ahead and pour it straight into the glass. We're gonna take two ounces of Bullet Bourbon. Throw that right in. Okay, then go ahead and grab one of those block ices on that side and just drop it right in. It's okay, you can use your hands. Oh, okay. You're the chef. You're oh, the chef. anyways, I'm drinking this. <laughs> it's your drink. <laughs> We're gonna add Angostura bitters, just like we did with the... Um, um, okay, this is that thing that I have to... Yeah, just good dash in. It's not gonna spill over. There you go, give it six dashes. With this, all we're gonna do is just take the skin off. Right, and then we're gonna face the outer pill out, I mean inwards and then just kind of give it a little spritz around the glass, and this is called perfuming the glass. And then you're just gonna give it a stir, go ahead and drop that in there, and just stir it like six times. So what it's doing is the ice is kind of melting a little mm -hmm. bit, and it's gonna, it's gonna come off a little bit more on the whiskey side at first, but as you drink it, the ice is gonna melt and it's gonna lighten it up. And today we're gonna pair that I'm with- so excited. Chef Lingo's braised short ribs. And this is actually what I had for dinner last night. And it has a little butternut squash underneath, cal gratin, some, some mushrooms, little earthiness. Wash it down with, the, with our old fashioned. Again, keeping it very simple, very classic. Awesome. Oh, Lani, thank you, this was amazing. Thanks for trying it. I love my job. 
<laughs> and again, Kitchen Lingo, you can find all these dishes and these pairings. And if you forget any of the pairings, they have it on the menu yeah. so that you know what goes with what, what tastes good with what, and everything just tastes amazing. Kitchen Lingo, make reservations. Or sit at the bar and hang out with, with, with Lenny. With me, or our bartenders, or our servers. They're all very knowledgeable about our menu and the pairings. So just ask them uh, their suggestions and they'll kind of guide you through the experience. Come by for dinner. Cheers. Thank you.